there and welcome to Verdi. Today I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about mosaic knitting. It's a colour work technique usually using two colours that creates intricate geometric designs like this top that I'm wearing here. If you've ever seen mosaic knitting and have been hesitant to try it, it is actually a lot easier than it looks. Basically you're knitting stripes in over two rows or rounds and you slip stitches along the way to create the uh, vertical patterning. So you're only using one colour at a time, you knit two, two rows and then you pick up your next colour, knit two rows, pick up the first colour again, knit two rows and you just need to put the slip stitches in where the design tells you to. So really the hard work's been done by the designer deciding where to put the slip stitches in to create the design. Now when you slip sti slip in the stitches, you can always slip them pearl wise. Um, there's no floats on the back, so you don't get any of the constriction or distortion. Um, there's nothing to carry, you don't get tangled with yarn. You can knit it flat or in the round, both work equally well. It's usually knit in stockinette stitch but you can also do it in garter stitch as well or combine the two like in this shawl here and that way you get these lovely raised sections in the stockinette against the texture of the garter stitch so if you want to know a little bit more and have a little go yourself we have a pattern for this little mosaic square um, following on from this video so keep watching and um, grab your needles grab some yarn and you can learn how to make one of these so just a few helpful hints before we get making our little mosaic squares try and pick yarns that contrast each other dark and light always work really well so you can really see the pattern remember that each yarn is used for two rows so you'll have a right side row which will create the pattern and then the wrong side row which will mimic what you did on the first row. So wherever you slip to stitch you will be slipping, wherever you work to stitch you will work a stitch. Um, try to keep the yarn even uh, when you're changing colours on the side. So don't pull it up too tight, just try and keep it to the level of the knitting. Um, Again, when you're working the slip stitches, try and keep your tension quite even. Don't be tempted to pull the stitches either side of the slip stitch tight. You don't need to do that. You just need to keep it flowing and even. Uh, blocking really helps with mosaic knitting to bring out the pattern. I found the best way to do this um, is to use steam. So get your iron with some steam and make sure that you put a piece of thick cotton fabric or a clean tea towel over the top when you're ironing. Okay, so let's get going making this. Okay, so let's start by casting on 31 stitches. I'm gonna use long tail method, but you can use whichever method you like. If you want to learn long tail cast on or you just want a refresher, um, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner to a tutorial. Okay, so 31 stitches. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 so just carry on until you've got 31 stitches okay so step two we're just going to go ahead and knit all 31 stitches so one two so just knit along as normal you get to the end. Okay so now we're on step three and we're going to start our mosaic pattern and the first thing we're going to do is join our yarn B. 
Um, now you can just start knitting with this if you like. Um, does mean the first stitch is a little bit loose, but obviously that will tighten up when you're weaving the ends. Or you can um, tie a slip knot around yarn A with your yarn B. So if you pop yarn B underneath like this, wrap it around, and with the tail end, loop it through as though you're tying a knot, and pull the loop. But don't pull the tail through. So what you want is to be able to untie this afterwards by pulling the tail. So we just loop on that that slides up and down. So we're going to start knitting. So if we pop your needle in, we can slide this up. We're going to be working with the long end, not the tail. So we're going to start by knitting six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we've got our first slip stitch. And this is a normal slip stitch, which means the yarn is held at the back, which it always is when you're doing a knit stitch anyway. And we're going to slip it purl wise, which means that you put your right needle into the stitch on your left needle as though you're going to purl it. Like this, and then you literally just slide the stitch off onto your right hand needle. Okay, then we're going to knit three. One two, three, then we're going to slip one again with the yarn at the back. So when it says yarn at back it doesn't mean the back of the work as in the wrong side, it just means the back of the bit you're working on at the moment, so basically away from you. So we're going to slip this next stitch and knit three again. One, two, three, okay well now we're going to slip again. So yarn at the back, insert pearl wise, just slip that off and knit one. And then we're going to slip one and knit three, three times. So slip one, knit three stitches, one, two, three, slip one, knit three, one, Two. That was our second repeat. Slip one and knit three. One, two, three. That's our third repeat. And then to finish, we're just going to knit these last three salvage stitches. So one, two, three. Okay, so now we're going to work step four. So this is kind of the mirror or inverse of the row we've just done. Um, because any stitches that were knit, you're now going to purl. And any stitches that were slipped, you're going to slip again, but this time with the yarn held to the front, so towards you. Um, and the way you can tell uh, which stitch you need to do is the loops that are the same color as the yarn that you're currently working with, you're going to purl. Any stitches that are a different color, they're the ones that you need to slip. So we're going to start by knitting three, which is our selvage. And we're going to follow the rule until the last three stitches. So if it's the same colour as the yarn you're working with, so a previous knit stitch, we're going to purl it. If it's a different colour, then we're going to slip it with the yarn held towards us. So we need to move our yarn, because we just knit three, we need to move our yarn towards us to purl. So instead of going over the top of the needle, you need to make sure that the yarn comes between the two, otherwise you'll create a hole. Okay, so now we're going to purl three, so one, two, three, and the next stitch is a different colour, so we're going to slip that again, we're slipping purl wise, 
So just put your needle in as though you're going to purl and simply slip it off. And the yarn is held towards you. And then we're going to purl one, two, three. Slip. Again, more pearls. Two, three. Slip the next one. Pearl, slip. Just keep working like that. Pearl in the knit stitches, slip in the sti slip stitches until you get to the last three. Okay, now we need to knit our last three stitches for our selvage. Now we need to take our yarn to the back. So we don't go over, we go between the needles like this and then knit three, one, two, three. So we're ready to do step five. So the little loop that we created uh, to attach the yarn B we can now undo. So if you grab the tail end and just pull that to undo it and just pop that underneath there to the back. Okay, so we've just finished a row in yarn B. So what we need to do now is push that towards the back. You can just hold it with those fingers just to help. And then with yarn A, we need to bring that up so that it goes over the top of the previous yarn. And that just helps prevent holes. So it's gone over the top there. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is knit three. So one, two, three. Okay, then we need to slip the next stitch, and it's a normal slip, so the yarn's held away from me at the back, and that's normal pearl wise. So slip one, knit one. Okay, now we're going to slip one and knit three five times. So slip one, knit one, two. Three, slip one, yarn at the back, knit three, one, two, three, that was the second repeat, so slip one, knit three, one, two, three, that was the third repeat, slip one, knit three, one, two, three, that was the fourth repeat, and slip one, knit one, two, three, and that was our fifth repeat. So now we need to slip one, knit one, slip one again, and then just knit our last three selvage stitches. Okay, so that's row five. So step six is another mirrored row. So we need to knit the first three stitches. One, two, three. So that's our three selvage stitches. Now we're going to slip the slip stitches and purl the knit stitches. So again, any stitch that is a different color to the one that we're using, we're gonna slip. Any other stitch, we're going to purl. So first of all, we need to bring our yarn to the front because we're slipping with our yarn at the front. So we bring it between the needles, not over the top. So slip the first one with the yarn held towards me and then we're gonna purl. Now we've got another slip, yarn held to the front. Purl, one, two, three. And we'll just keep working like that all the way along the row. So purling the previous knit stitches and slipping the previous slip stitches. So if the colour of the stitch is the same as your working yarn, you're going to uh, purl it. If it's the other colour, then you're going to slip it. Ok, 
Okay, so we're going to do that to the last three stitches. And now we need to knit these last three, so we need to take our yarn to the back. So we pass it between the needles, not over the top, and we knit the last three stitches. Okay, so again we've finished with yarn A, so we're going to move that towards the back. And yarn B, which is what we're going to work with now, we're going to bring that up so that it goes over the top here of the previous yarn. Okay. So, step 7. We're going to start by knitting 4. So, 1, 2, 3. And you might just need to give yarn a little bit of a tighten there. Okay, now we're going to slip one and knit three twice. So again, the yarn's at the back. Slip one. Knit three. One. Two. Three. First time. Slip one. Knit three. Two. Three. For our second repeat. Now we're going to slip one, again the yarn at the back, slipping purl wise, knit five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to slip one and knit three, three times. So slip one, knit one, two, three, slip one. One, two, three, slip one, knit one, two, three, and then we just need to knit that last stitch. So step eight is another mirrored inverse row. So we start by knitting one, two, three. And any stitches that match the yarn on our uh, on our finger, we're going to purl. And any stitches in the other colour, we're going to slip. And we're going to carry on doing that to the last three stitches. So first thing we need to do is bring our yarn towards us between the needles. Purl that first one, slip, and just keep working our way along, purling, and slipping as needed until we get to those last three stitches. So all the ones in the other colour we slip in and all the ones in the same colour we pull in. Okay, so we've got to the last three stitches, so we take our yarn between the needles to the back and we're going to knit these last three stitches. Two, three. And you can see the pattern starting to form. Okay, so we're ready for step nine. So we've finished with yarn B, so we're going to take that to the back and just Hold it with our fingers. Then we're going to take our yarn A and bring it up so that it goes in front of our yarn B. And we're going to start by knitting three and slipping one. So one, two, three. The yarn is held to the back. Slip one. Now we'll come just tighten uh, our yarn B from the beginning of the row. Okay, so we're just going to continue to knit three and slip one until we get to the last three stitches. So, knit three, one, two, oops, two, three, slip one, knit one, two, three, slip one, one, two, Slip one, 
just carry on to the last three stitches. Now generally, generally with mosaic knitting you will always uh, slip purlwise. But if that's any different then the pattern will specify that. Okay, so I've got to the last three stitches and I'm just going to knit these last three. One, two, three. Okay, so now we're going to work uh, our step 10. So our return row on the wrong side. So we start by knitting three. One, two, three. Then we're going to bring our yarn between the needles to the front towards us. And we're going to slip the slip stitches, which are in the other colour, and pull all the stitches that were knit on the previous row so they'll be in the same colour as the yarn we're working with. So it will just be slip, pull three, all the way along. So generally when you work in mosaic knitting and you're purling on the wrong side it's really easy to do the slip stitches because obviously the yarn is already at the front towards you. If it asked you to slip with the yarn at the back you would need to bring the yarn between the needles to the front, to the back, I'm um, sorry, and then slip. Okay, so we've worked to the last three stitches and we're going to take the yarn between the needles and then knit the last three. Okay, so that's our uh, four mosaic rows that form the pattern and they're just repeated in a certain order um, which I shall put on the following screen um, so if you just repeat those um, until you get to the end and then we'll finish off together when you're there Okay, so we've got to the end of row 44 and this is what our piece should look like. So now we're ready to finish it off and just add the single colour band at the top. So we're just going to carry on with yarn A. So I'm taking yarn B to the back and I'm bringing yarn A up to the level of the stitches and just knitting all the way across there's no slip stitches at all in this row, so just knit to the end. So we've knit to the end of the row and all that's left to do now is to bind off. So you can just do this in the normal way. So knit the first two stitches. Pass the first stitch of the second and off the needle. And just keep working like that all the way along. So knit one pass the stitch over, knit one, pass the stitch over. Just keep going like that to the end. Um, when you've finished you will need to cut all the ends and weave all those in and then I would recommend blocking uh, the square as well. It really opens out the stitches um, so you can see the lovely mosaic design. And there you go.